Hey, Internet, it's Wednesday, August 5th, 2009, and this is the Philip DeFranco Show, brought to you by our sponsor, Stupidity. Thanks, man, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Making people laugh since fucking forever. A lot of the stupidity I got was from yesterday when I didn't post a video because I had a stomach virus flu. Pretty much just everything that was liquid and solid in my body decided it wanted to be on the outside of me. And um, I could not make a video during that um, episode. But the Lord hath graced us with some amazing news this Wednesday. The first being yesterday, Bill Clinton decided, hey, it's a Tuesday, I'm pretty bored, let's go to North Korea and save those two journalists that are going to have to go to 12 years of labor camp. And so he brought them back to the States. And even though Bill Clinton saved these girls from a terrible life, someone had a problem with it. And big surprise, it was Sean Hannity from Fox News. Out of all the stupid shit that came out of Hannity's mouth, he did have one valid point. Why didn't the Secretary of State Hillary Clinton do it? And the obvious answer for that is Hillary Clinton looks like she wants to eat children. And since Kim Jong-il only has one son that wants to be his successor, they didn't want to risk it. Plus, how awesome is it that there are so many headlines that says, Bill Clinton brings home two Asians. You know you giggled a little inside. And some big news that you guys have tweeted to me over and over, Paula Abdul is not going to be on the next season of American Idol. I know. Oh my god. I don't care. But imagine this is going to be a real hard thing for the producers. Because now the producers of American Idol are going to have to figure out how do we fill in those 20 minutes of awkward silence she generates every show when she's trying to think of what to say. Like, Paula Abdul has the best job ever. She was going to get paid $20 million to go, you're just so... phenomenal... So good. You look gorgeous. Let's move on to even more stupidity with high school musical star Vanessa Hudgens. Previously, Vanessa Hudgens had some nude photos of her leaked to the internet. But apparently, Vanessa Hudgens hates clothes more than I hate people that wear ball caps with the stickers left on. Because another set of photos where she's naked have been leaked to the web. The main point being, one, the bitch needs to stop taking pictures of herself. Two, she needs to get a new phone. And three, if she's gonna show the world how oddly shaped her breasts are, she should at least get paid for it. Seriously, those things look like torpedoes. A fun little fact about China is is they think that teenagers on the internet is a huge problem. And they say that 10% of the 100 million teenagers in the country suffer from internet addiction. It used to be in China that if you had video game or internet addiction, they would use shock therapy. But now that that's illegal, they use different methods. Methods that aren't supposed to harm the kid. Except in this recent story where the counselor has beat a kid to death because he liked the internet too much. And it really got me thinking how terrible that is. Because if I was born in another country when I was younger, they would have said I had internet addiction. Because I would literally be on the computer 10 to 12 hours a day. But I received the secret answer antidote to internet addiction. When I was 18, I discovered how awesome vagina was, and I completely forgot about video games. So China, close down these places that are electrocuting and killing your kids. Just give them the doctor-recommended dose of one vagina a day, every day, and you should see results almost instantly. And girls, I know that it's not the most appealing thing in the world to think about, you know, banging a really fat, pale kid. But, close your eyes and just imagine it's a really... Fat Edward Cullen. The last thing I wanted to talk about today, um, after receiving many an email requesting that I get one, I finally have gotten a um, mailbox that's not my house, so you guys can send me, um, I guess, love notes, hate notes, um, hopefully not a deadly virus or a bomb, maybe don't do that, that's probably a bad thing, but I don't know, so you can send stuff. I guess, or whatever. I'll include uh, the address uh, in the sidebar, along with all of today's stories, photo galleries, including Vanessa Hudgens, etc., blah, 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 blah. But guys, that's really all that mattered to me this Wednesday. My name's Philip DeFranco, and you've just been filled in with brains. Why would you be filled in with brains? I don't know. I'll see you tomorrow. Sexy Phil, he's a sexy, sexy Phil, he's a sexy... Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, he's definitely not sexy. I love you. What a romantic moment! And I caught it all in full HD on this San Yosetti! Do you want to win $5,000 and be the next infomercial superstar? Then join the contest at if.net slash Sanyo! Link to the sidebar! <laughs>